Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the things that a lot of people um, don't know is that uh, versions of Windows, including feature updates, um, it happens regularly that they need new drivers. I was um, somebody was mentioning that the computer blue screens when it goes to Windows 11 and it's okay on windows 10 and when that happens uh, there's a good chance that either a piece of software if you have some software installed or a driver from one of the devices is actually incompatible with windows 11. when a new version of windows happens uh, that's the thing as a lot of uh, the uh, drivers need to have some updates actually what's happening right now in the um, in the different manufacturers, this is where we are. The uh, Windows OEM version of the build that is officially 22H2 it is actually being tested by manufacturers. This is why it's not released now. It's being tested by manufacturers, and that will they're giving them until uh, early September to come up with you know the uh, updated and optimized drivers. So this gives you an idea that new drivers are needed most of the time. And problem is, manufacturers are not that great in updating drivers um, after a while. Um, they quickly abandon the new driver, and you end up with a PC that you just hope that the drivers for Windows 10 are going to work and be compatible with Windows 11 without any problems which has always been a problem. I, I always thought that you know manufacturers should actually be responsible in updating drivers and making drivers for a certain amount of time by, by regulation, actually, because too many of them abandon quite quickly the uh, drivers because they want you to buy new hardware. So they stop quite fast in making new uh, drivers because, oh, well, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. You just buy another one. But, you know, it's not always like that, and not everybody can buy a new hardware, new computer every year, or, you know, it's something you gotta gotta be careful with. So, unfortunately, it can happen. Um, also, remember that manufacturers are slow in updating and getting drivers for your system. Uh, the best place for updated drivers is a manufacturer's webpage, by the way. Go to the manufacturer of your hardware, and you can also, of course, go into the Windows updates. Sometimes some of the drivers will show up in the uh, in the um, the optional updates, and you'll see that some drivers can actually show up there uh, for optional updates. But unfortunately, manufacturers are often a little slow, and uh, it might not work now. But it might work in a couple of months when manufacturers suddenly will have new drivers available for Windows 11 specifically, for example. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.